Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, we are playing on my single player world and we've got lots and lots of things to do and we're gonna have lots of fun. So yeah, you guys can see the signs behind me. There's gonna be a bunch of things we're gonna have to do today. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we can kind of just go one by one on the signs and just a little backstory. I did do just kind of a lot of work off camera because the pause or the time between this episode and last episode was pretty big actually and i just wanted to do some things off screen so let's start with the first one i built a secret snow igloo so this one came out of um one day i hopped on the world and i just wanted to build something you know those days where you just need to build i didn't want to record i didn't want to do anything special i just wanted to build and i didn't want to build something convenient oh, i just wanted to build something that looked nice so came over here and built this so you can see it's just kind of a little igloo in the middle of nowhere. Now, you might say, oh, that doesn't look anything like an igloo. Oh, why does an igloo have wooden posts? Why is there a light? <clears throat> um, I don't know, because I wanted to, I guess. Yeah, honestly, even if it doesn't, if it's not really an igloo, I just think it kind of looks cool. But there's a little bit more to this igloo than you think. And I added a couple lights here and there. I think this one's going to melt all the snow, actually. Whoopsies. Yeah, actually, the funny story is I actually put these lights under all these snow layers so it could be lit up where you can't see it. But it actually melted the snow layers, and apparently I forgot one of them. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, this is like the snow igloo thing from outside. I added this little lamppost for a little bit of light. And if we go inside, you might see just some bookcases. You might say, oh, this is a pretty cool. He has a couple flowers, but if you go behind here... There's actually a ladder, and if we climb down the ladder, there's going to be a little secret room here with literally everything you'll need. You have your furnaces, your anvils, crafting table, chests, your bed, some armor, a weapon, some paintings to make it look nice. You got your fridge, you got your cabinets, whoa, <laughs> you got your cabinets, uh, you have your sink, you have your books if you get bored, you have a little table here with a flower, you have your coat hangers, uh, you have your grill, and you have your table, so yeah. This is a nice little place to come out and chill if there's some kind of bad thing going on outside. This is like a little fallout shelter just for me. <clears throat> but yeah, I built this just completely for fun. Uh, in the comments, tell me what you guys think of it. Um, I'm actually pretty proud of it, but then again, I'd probably be proud of building anything because I'm not exactly amazing at it. <clears throat> so you guys tell me in the comments what you think of it. Now let's go on to the next thing worked on first row so guys um probably none of you will remember just me because it wasn't really it wasn't really special for you guys but it was special for me if you guys go back to the first day we picked this spot to make our base we put our bed down we had like the little setup practically like right here and there was one rose that stood by all our stuff that i didn't clear out I cleared out all the grass all the flowers there was just one little rose and it stood there for a couple episodes and then i ended up picking that rose and putting it for safekeeping and i still have that single rose where we first started our base and guys we put it in that room over there if you guys can go back and past episodes and see it we did not take very good care of it but <clears throat> i overhauled its design and i made it look really nice yeah th this so I added obviously the packed ice added the lights added the diamonds because this is special this is the first, like, I mean, I don't even know why it's special, but it's just, it's just the rose that was there when we first started this base. So, this rose is very, very special. That's why I gave it the best diamonds, the best packed ice, and best materials out there. But yeah, if you can see, anything that's special to me will get good treatment, like the rose. The dragon egg has diamonds all over it. Um, so yeah, we, I worked on the first rose, built random houses and near the uh, village and the wither area so, so there's a house over here yep it's just a little little house thingy hut you can go inside i didn't furnish them but yeah someone lives here they're still waiting to move in if we head over this way that's the first house i built if we head over this way there should be another house it's a little bit little bit more lighty it's a little bit more bigger has a little bit of a different design if we go in here Yep, and I put some lights in, so this one looks a little bit different. So yeah, I built random houses, I built rail railroad to spawn. 
Um, that's something that took quite a long time and quite a lot of materials that, again, I did not put on camera for some reason. Uh, I guess I just didn't feel that day of recording. But if we go over here, you guys remember, I actually built a tunnel all the way to the spawn where we first spawned and we had our first little base. And I actually did put the entire way I did put railings. And I even put torches to light them up. Now, I'm not going to walk down the entire thing because that would be a very, very long time. But you guys can just take my word for it. This goes all the way back to spawn. Now, all we really need to do is either decorate this outside or we can make it look more destructive and make it kind of look like a spooky, eerie cave type look. Um, so, again, if you guys have any comments, if you guys have any views, tell me. Do you think we should leave it as a spooky old cave look and kind of make it look... A little bit more blown up or do you guys want to make it look nice with quartz and redstone and a bunch of other stuff you guys can tell me in the comments if you guys want so let's get on to the next thing <clears throat> one of the plans for today is to build a trash storage so um, one of your I think one of you guys commented on the last episode um, put a place with lava so you can just kind of throw away stuff but um, I don't want to throw away anything just because, I don't know, I'm just kind of like that. So, guys, what I'm planning to do in this episode is we're going to build a trash storage. So there's going to be a place with hoppers that we can just kind of throw trash in. We'll have, like, a bunch of chests underneath and literally just trash we can throw in there. <clears throat> and you might be wondering, why are you keeping trash? I really don't know. My, for me, it's why not. Sometimes cobble is trash for me, and then sometimes we're not a cobble. I could be just go down there and get some cobble. Um, and another thing is we need to make an AFK fishing farm. That's another um, <clears throat> big plan for today. You guys might be thinking, is that it for today? No, it is not. I have another thing that'll... It's like a mini, mini, mini 30-second project. One of you guys in the comments suggested that we make a Steve suit. So that's like the first suggestion that we've had. We made these suits a while ago, guys. I don't know if you guys remember. But each of these suits, I made like a Spider-Man suit, ninja suit, princess suit, fake diamond suit, wolf suit. You guys can read them. <clears throat> but we never made a normal Steve suit. So that's what we're going to do today. We're actually going to take this sign and put it right here and name it the Steve suit. There we go, that's the Steve suit. Now I actually haven't looked into this at all, so I probably will. So guys, I'll be right back once I have the suit ready. Okay guys, so I have made the Steve suit. So if we come over here, I'll just put it on uh, before I actually tell you guys what my process through it was. So you can come over here <clears throat> and put, oh, I forgot the actual armor stand. So if we put the armor stand here, put all this stuff. So. <clears throat> this might not exactly look like Steve, but it's technically based off Steve. So the Steve model has gray shoes, it has dark blue pants, it has a light blue uh, shirt, and it has brown hair. So that's how I came up with this design. Alright guys, our next project is to build the trash storage area. So let's grab some chests, let's grab some hoppers, and... Yeah, I don't think we really need much more. It's going to be very, 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 very super simple. It's not going to be super insane. Now, the hard part is going to be thinking, where should the trash go? Now, I don't want to <clears throat> put it in this floor because I have this right under. But where should we put it? Okay, guys, I know this is going to kind of mess up the floor and the ceiling. But <clears throat> what I'm thinking to do is to put the trash just actually in this floor right here. Because think about it. I do want to somehow be able to access the trash. And what's better way to access the trash from actually just down below here? Uh, so it's kind of like easy easy maintenance, you know? So actually, it's going to be a very super, super easy build. What we're going to do is just put hoppers probably just right in the middle over here. So how we're going to do this is let's take these two blocks apart. Probably going to need to take these apart is it's gonna be very very simple so chest over here chest over here chest over here and chest over here just like that and then we'll put hopper into there hopper into there hopper into there hopper into there and then just like that uh we're just gonna throw all the trash just randomly into these hoppers and we'll be able to access them from here 
So yeah, it's a very, very simple trash design. The guys, again, might be saying, well, this isn't really much of a trash. You're just kind of throwing it somewhere and holding it for keeping. Well, really, I'm never going to access this much. It's just like whenever I don't need something, I'm just going to just kind of chuck it in there for fun. So I don't know. I think it's a great idea to just kind of keep everything just in case. Who knows? One day <clears throat> I might need it for some random cause. So yeah, that is our little trash thing. Now here comes the, probably... I won't say bigger project, we're probably still going to have to do something after, but I want to build an AFK fishing farm. Now these, um, <clears throat> I'm not going to say they're complicated to build because they aren't complicated to build, but I don't know how to build it by hand, so yeah, I am going to have to use a YouTube tutorial, which is insane. So you guys won't be seeing me look at the YouTube tutorial because obviously I'm going to use the power of editing, uh, but yeah, I'm going to use a, a building tutorial. And let's go build that AFK fishing farm. Now, <clears throat> we're going to have to figure out, first of all, where we want to put this fishing farm. Uh, I think it's most appropriate to probably put it near our fishing hut. Just because it's a beautiful building. And if I ever go fishing, this is where I'm going to go fishing. So, yeah, somewhere around here. I put the igloo up there. I could have put it up there, but I guess not anymore. Hmm. I mean, realistically, we don't actually need it anywhere near even water, but I kind of do want it somewhere near here. Okay, guys, you know what I'm thinking? I think we should put it right here, just for fun, because it's really close to our building, and we need something here. We, don't, we can't use something tall because that's in the way. We can't use something big because this is in the way. I think a nice little small fishing farm would do perfect right here. So real quick... I'm going to pull up a tutorial, I'm going to get my uh, supplies together, and let's do this. Okay guys, so I have found a tutorial that I think will work well. The person showed me how to build it, they didn't explain how to use it, but you know what? That's the fun of redstone, we will learn how to use it together. So here are all the materials, so here are all the redstone components, and then I just grabbed a bunch of bone blocks and quartz slabs and stairs and some fences. And yeah, this is what we're going to build with. So, I don't remember how to start. So, yeah, I'll just keep switching on and off from the tutorial and we'll do it together. Okay, so first we have to do a little bit of digging. So let's grab our shovel. So how I see it in his video, it's one, two, three, one, two, one, like that. So yeah, this is what he starts out with. Alright, so let's grab the droppers. We put one up and one this way all right so now we need to get our hoppers out to actually connect the droppers to something so put one into there into that into that and from over here so you put it into that block into that and then into that okay guys so the next step is with chests hoppers and cobblestone so we need to put a hopper in here we need to put a cobblestone wall right there and we need to put two chests right here Next, we have to make a little hole right here and put two chests just like that. Now what we have to do is grab some blocks. So let's grab some of our bone and stairs. And we got to put a block there, there, and we got to put stairs on top of it. All right, next up, we have to place a couple more blocks. We need a block here. We need a block here. And we need a block here, but we do want to remove these two right here. And then we need to go two more up, one, two, one, two, and then one right here. Okay, next up, we do need to get the iron door finally, but before we actually put it in there, we do need to remove this block and this block, and we do need to put the iron door from this side over here, like that. Next up, we need to grab our carpet and our stone pressure plate, so there's our Where's our carpet? Carpet and stone pressure plate. So we can place carpet over this one and pressure plate over this one. Okay, real quickly, we do need to fix these stairs right here. The dude in the tutorial messed up. So we have to invert them, actually. And then we need to bring these out. Yeah, we need to bring it out just like this. So one over and one like that. Okay, now what we need to do is dig two blocks right here and four blocks right here. All right, now we're going to have to start with some of our redstone things. So let's put some of these away. What we're going to have to do is start getting our redstone things out. So let's just grab a bunch of these. 
Okay, so first thing, I grabbed too many tripwire hooks, but we need two there. We need to put a string. Did I put the string in the right place? No, I did not. I need to put it in between, just like that, and we need a lever over here. Okay, now we actually do need a slab, so let's go grab a slab. And we have our redstone torches on us, so we need to place it right here. And then a torch there, and a torch there. Okay, so now we gotta get some redstone, put one on top of there, 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 and we need to put a repeater here. Alright, we do need to set this to four ticks, and we need redstone on this side here and there. Okay, now we're gonna have to use some more repeaters, we need to put a repeater right there. Uh, then we need a block, which I need my bone blocks for, so let's grab one of those. Put it there. Then we need a torch there, and we're gonna have to get on top of here with another torch here, and a repeater going into there okay now we do need to go over here take this and we need to put it one block lower so we can kind of do that hopefully I didn't mess up the redstone I don't think it did so let's head up here grab some redstone put redstone redstone and we do need another repeater facing that way perfect so we only have two things left and that includes the water bucket and one more block which I have both of so yeah, we can come over here, place a block right here. And as you guys can see, the door is going to kind of alternate open and close. And we do need some water right here, just like that. And technically, the farm is... Whoa, I just fell. <laughs> technically, the farm is done. Now we just kind of need to decorate it and obviously place our rods and everything. And I still don't know how that works, but I'm going to analyze this for a second and we'll do that. Okay guys, I've given it like literally five seconds of thought and now I realize how this works. So what's going to happen is if we place all our rods in here, the rods will get brought up right into this. So we'll be using the rod. Once it breaks, it'll dispense another one. Of course, we've got to fill our inventory with um, everything. So we only have one slot left. And then whenever I pull something in, it'll land right about here. So yeah, then all the objects that um, get looted will go in there. So it's a pretty simple farm actually now what we have to do is actually decorate the farm which is probably going to be the hardest part for me just because i don't know how to decorate and obviously i don't want to mess up any of the redstone but yeah let's give it a try okay guys so let's just grab the blocks we're probably going to use and that's going to be all these really white blocks all right so that should be enough so now i don't really know what to do i'm legitimately thinking of just building kind of a square around it so yeah let's place maybe some blocks like this up and then sideways just like that could probably place just kind of like a rim around it this will be just for like the base of it we might add some glass in here just so we can have like an effect where it can actually see into the machine that would be pretty cool let's put some glass around here just so we can kind of see the redstone just for fun i always like to look at the redstone behind everything so we can place some glass just like that nope not this one just like this I don't know how this is going to work, but let's try to make a little roof here. Okay, guys, so I put the entire kind of trim of the roof around it. I'm going to put some glass here so light can get in, just so stuff doesn't spawn in there. But now what we have to do is actually decorate the inside here, which honestly, I don't think is going to be that hard. All right, guys, so the farm is kind of done. Now, you guys could probably saw what I did, but yeah, I just went in here, I added some blocks, I added some... Um, stairs to make it look kind of nice and I came over here and this is where we're gonna actually grab the loot and stuff so yeah the build is actually kind of done now I do want to test it obviously so what I'm gonna do is put my stuff away first of all um, you know what I might have to grab a bigger chest so what I'm gonna have to do is fill up my inventory with just a bunch of junk and then what we're gonna have to do is test it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it on for about a half an hour and then I'll be back okay guys so we're not exactly done yet I forgot one very very simple thing and that is the door can't forget the door because the rods will just fly out and if the door is not there there's gonna be nothing to stop them so we're here in the farm we are ready I turned it off just for now but yeah we can grab a rod we can fill the rest of our inventory real quick and I do have to find a way how to right click constantly, but I'll do that in a second. I just want to test the farm. So let's turn the farm on. So as you can see, the rods go out, but they will just get sucked back into here. 
and one of them went all the way up here, so that could be a problem. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna place a block right here. Okay, now it's finally the time to test it after all messing up and stuff. Let's turn this thing on. Okay, so we don't have a block there. Now let's try to hit it. Now I don't know exactly where to hit it, but I'm thinking it's just kind of somewhere in the middle, like right here. Okay guys, so I think the farm worked pretty well. Let's throw, uh, I don't know why this fish is here. Let's bring all of these back in. Let's take this fish, throw it over there. So I think that's where it should be, unless this chest is full already, which would be insane, but of course it can't be. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here. There's a flame mending and infinity, both wonder ability. We got some bones, so it did work. We did get something. Let's throw that in there. But yeah, apparently it works. I don't know why. Why it's not going. Why it didn't go in here. Maybe it just shot a little too far. But yeah. Um. Yeah, apparently the farm works now. We do need to get into this chest over here. I guess we can just climb up here. But yeah, the thing works, which is nice. So I'm gonna leave it like just here for now. Uh, I'm probably gonna farm on it overnight. But that's just kind of a little test, and that does show you guys... Oh, no. I broke some plants. That's not good. But it just shows you guys that it does work. Okay, guys. So I think this is going to be the end of today's video. Today's video might be a little bit short, and I'm sorry about that. I promise next episode will be probably a bit longer. So, guys, I had a lot of fun building that fishing farm. And I can't wait to actually start using it and getting a lot of name tags and saddles and stuff like that. It's going to be loads and loads of fun. So, guys... If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.